Tonight, one of the most powerful and popular antibiotics on the market comes with a warning. But iTeam reporter Jackie Calloway finds that warning for this drug and others like it does not include the worst possible side effect, death. Jackie set out to find out why the risk of suicide is buried in the fine print. Jill Cobb blames one of the most widely prescribed antibiotics in the country for destroying her physically. I got leg hip pain so severe I could hardly walk. And torturing her mentally. I started to get more like uh, panic attacks. Between 2010 and 2016, the FDA fielded more than 31,000 complaints involving just one member of the fluoroquine alone family, Lovaquin. Hundreds involved depression and anxiety. And recently we've identified 122 suicides within a day or two of taking the quinolones. South Carolina's pharmaceutical watchdog, Dr. Charles Bennett, petitioned the FDA in 2014. I have filed two citizen petitions personally. He asked the agency to add a black box warning for psychiatric adverse events to Lovequin's label. He started having these kind of like anxiety attacks and, and like heart palpitations. Heather McCarthy says her son Shay never experienced mental health issues until a doctor prescribed Levaquin as a preventative following a simple surgery. I believe it overcame him and he, he, you know, that was. Within months, Shea dropped out of Purdue University and wound up on more drugs to treat bipolar disorder. In 2013, the 24 year old jumped out of a second floor window and ran his car into a concrete barrier. This was a drug induced death that was unnecessary. Heather added her voice to those petitioning the FDA to do more to warn people about the mental health side effects linked to fluoroquinolones. I asked the FDA what was taking so long. In an email, the agency said the FDA is carefully reviewing available scientific information and will determine appropriate actions when this review is complete. Fluoroquinolones, including Cipro and Levaquin, contain warnings. But here's the problem. Take Cipro's 31 page insert. You have to go all the way down to the fine print on page nine to find these warnings. Some patients say they've never seen them. Others who've suffered side effects say they've yet to recover. Um, if I'm not working, I'm in this bed. 11 months after taking her last dose of Levaquin, Jill continues to suffer from extreme pain in her tendons. Levaquin's black box warning includes the risk of tendon rupture. But for Jill, the depression and insomnia hurt just as much. It's never gone away. Her only comfort, connecting with thousands of others on Facebook who share similar stories. There's currently more than 8,500 members. And the FDA estimates only 1 to 10 percent of those who suffer side effects actually report them. For every Shea McCarthy, there could be 10 to 100 others whose stories go untold. My son knew what was wrong with him and no one listen to him. The FDA could take several more years before deciding on the petition to black box what may be the most serious side effects connected to a drug taken by an estimated 22 million people. I'm my team reporter Jackie Calloway taking action for you.